everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk About Singing. My name is Marco, I'm a singer, songwriter, voice teacher from Italy, living in New York City. We are here today with another reaction and vocal analysis. Moneskin recently released a new song, it's called The Loneliest. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Moneskin. I'm Italian, I'm very proud of them. They're having a huge success all over the world, so I'm very excited to listen to this new song and analyze what's going on vocally and musically. Before we start, I want to remind you once again that you can book a free class consultation coaching session with me. All you have to do is send me an email at letstalkaboutsinging84 at gmail.com or send me a private message on Instagram at perfectmark.music. All my contacts are in the description of this video, including a link to my original music, which I will be very happy if you could listen to. Check it out and let's connect. And now let's get into it right away. Mana Skin, The Loneliest. You'll be the saddest part of me A part of me that will never be mine It's obvious Tonight is gonna be the loneliest You're still the oxygen I breathe I see your face when I close my eyes the night is gonna be the loneliest There's a few lines that I have wrote In case of death, that's what I want <laughs> wow, so many things to talk about already. Wow, so many different colors, so many different uses of the voice. Damiana is such a great singer, such a skilled vocalist. I really, really like his voice and the choices that he makes. Musically, I'm kind of surprised. This is a little more pop, kind of like rock ballad, but with a melody that it's kind of pop. Do you agree, guys? It's a little less rock than the usual, I would say. But let's start from the very beginning. At the beginning of the song, we have the chorus, an octave lower, sung in a very, very soft delivery. It's interesting to hear Damiano doing this type of soft vocals. He doesn't do it as much. Even when he sings softly, he usually has a different vocal placement. In this case, he's really doing it at a very low volume. I'm pretty sure they recorded that part with the microphone very, very close, because you can hear all the, you can hear the movements of the tongue and the teeth and the lips, which I love. I love when that happens. This type of singing is very indie, very contemporary indie pop, indie rock, you know, everybody seems to kind of sing like this, enunciating, putting a little bit of fry, you know, he's using his fry, which is very typical of him. You'll be the saddest part of me. He's got some uh, going on. Again, very indie. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a second vocal track at an octave above in falsetto, very soft and very low in the mix. You can barely hear it, but it's there and it definitely makes a difference. It's an interesting choice because it continues in the verse as well and in the pre-chorus. It's very thin, right? But it contributes in creating a certain atmosphere. The songs sound really sad and, and it has a certain ethereal vibe, especially in that part, which I think that the higher octave enhances for sure. Also, do you notice the staccato of that phrase? You be the saddest part of me, a part of me. 
me. He's kind of giving that little hit and he's accentuating some syllables and kind of pulling back, right? But then when the first verse starts, he still is doing very soft vocals, but there's more his style of soft vocals. His voice is a little fuller and he's placed in a different spot, a little more frontal. And he also uses his slides like da, la, kind of like that, right? He's mm, sliding inside the note. You gotta be careful if you try to do something like that because sometimes the tendency is to exaggerate it a little bit and to go uh, kind of going lower than the actual note and then above it. But what Damiano does is he starts in the note and then he slides almost inside the note without going too much above it. It's a little bit of a bending effect. Death lies, lies. And it's achieved more through dynamics than actually by changing the pitch of the note. I was surprised by that little riff, oh, 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 which is super pop. And I'm not really used to hear Moneskin riffing and doing runs on one note. I don't know if there are many other songs where they do that, but it's definitely not something that I would associate with them. There's a pre-chorus with a crescendo, you know, the drums are dun, 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 and then the chorus is, of course, an octave above the first one that we've heard. Full power, full vocals, a little bit of distortion. Typical Damiano, typical Moneskin. We have his typical little sobs. Breathe! Has a certain vocal breaks slash sobbing on the word breathe, which, of course, it's not random that it's exactly on that word. An interesting placement is on words like obvious. Loneliness! It's a little bit of a uh, sound, you know, it's very high place, frontal, but kind of, it kind of resonates, I would say, above the soft palate, behind the nose. He's not doing, it's obvious! More like full and chesty, he's doing, it's obvious! It's not, uh, right? There is a certain resonance there. And it's kind of straightforward, full, no dynamics in it. Even raw, I would say, but very communicative. I love the distortion that it puts in the glissando parts when it does my eyes. It's such a hard rock sound. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Do you hear how many different sounds this guy's giving you? Between an intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, we have soft, almost spoken type of vocals, very indie. You have a very pop riff, da, 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 da. you have soft but fuller sound and then you have distortion and then you have glissandos and then you have kind of like hard rock vocals. This guy is a great, great vocalist. So let's keep going and see what happens. I gotta go if you love me. Part of me, a part of me that will never be mine. So be it. Tonight is gonna be the only. Hello. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, wow. So, Damn. So many different things going on. First of all, the song is pretty long. It's over four minutes, which is kind of unusual for a contemporary song, and I'm happy about that, you know? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like today's songs are getting shorter and shorter, and some of these new songs are just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then they're over, barely two minutes sometimes. I understand that it might be the way it is right now when it comes to mainstream music, but I like good four-minute song when the song is good. So the second verse, after the first chorus, you have the same melody of the first verse, but Damiano is not giving you soft dynamics anymore. He's singing the same melody with a more distorted sound, which is, again, very typical of him. And we still have that higher octave on top of the main vocals, especially in the pre-chorus, you can hear it here. And in addition to that, we also have harmonies, so there is a richer vocal presence, which makes sense because, you know, as I said often in my previous videos, it's typical of pop, rock, contemporary music to add new elements that you can barely hear or that maybe go a little unnoticed, but that they contribute in making the listener feel like something new is happening, even though the melody stays the same. But can we talk about that guitar solo for a second? Damn, that was absolutely my favorite part of the song, musically speaking, especially. First of all, it's so rare to hear a guitar solo in a mainstream song. So yes, please bring back guitar solos. I love a good guitar solo in the middle of a rock song. Absolutely, hands down, 100%, yes. But Thomas, it's killing it here. The solo is so raw. It almost reminded me of Tom Morello in some parts. There is something about the sound that he chose and the type of distortion and, and, and the pedal effect that reminded me of Tom Morello, you know, Rage Against the Machine, Audio Slave. Of course, I'm not making a comparison. Please don't kill me, Tom Morello's fans. But it is so unexpectedly rock compared to how pop the melody of the song is. So it definitely takes you somewhere else. I was really pleasantly surprised and absolutely my favorite part of the song. Then we have a breakdown after the solo. Damiano goes back to the soft vocals of the beginning and then tonight is gonna be the loneliest. There is this kind of like crescendo, glissado, and then back into the chorus, full power, full voice, distortion, little different vocal elements here and there. The instrumentation is more aggressive, the drum feels are heavier, everything is bigger, and then again, another drop at the very end, back to the lower octave, back to the soft vocals. Tonight is gonna be the loneliest. I have to say, this might not be my favorite song from Maneskin, melody-wise, but in general, these guys never cease to impress me with their musicianship and their talent, and especially Damiano, in this case, Thomas too, but especially Damiano, with all the different choices that he makes in terms of style and sound placement and dynamics. He's so emotional, he's so intense. I would be very curious to hear this song live because despite the fact that this song might sound easier than many of his other songs, I think that this might be actually harder for him to perform considering all these different placements and switches of octaves and sounds that are not maybe typical of his. So I'd be very curious to hear it live and see how he deals with that. Thank you guys for watching this reaction. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if I forgot to notice something. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Give me a thumb up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you're fans of Moneskin, if you saw them live. What are your thoughts on this unusual choice of a ballad, a little more pop sounding, if you prefer their rock sounds, if you prefer their Italian songs, if you like them in English better. Feel free to open a conversation about all these things and I'll answer all your messages. I'll see you soon with another reaction and vocal analysis. This is Marco. Let's talk about singing. Ciao.